I love what they're doing right now with the uh, helicopter that they have on Mars. That blows yes. my mind. Yes, it's actually been going longer than I think they had carved out about a month to have this helicopter fly around, and it's still going. So yeah. they're still like, okay. <laughs> I think like on the uh, the 16th of this month, a few mm-hmm. days ago, the, it done its like 12th fly yeah, or the, something like that. So, uh, at least, I know there's been at least eight. Um, so that, yeah, probably around then at this point. Yeah, I, I was reading, uh, I'll look into it here. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I was looking at uh, CNET earlier this morning. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, the 12th, Flat. Oh, and, oh, and apparently yeah. like it uh, was landing on like rough terrain and mm-hmm. that's something that they were kind of worried about because like, like doesn't it have a uh, its own what do they call the system where it can like basically navigate itself yeah it has to um because it can take anywhere from five to 20 minutes to send information to mars yeah so there are no scientists flying this helicopter in real time it has to be able to do everything itself yeah, um, yeah which is it's really great because there's a lot of places on Mars that the rovers can't get to because of this rough terrain and yeah. um, things like the the North and South Pole. There's water there frozen in mixed with with carbon dioxide, but there's water, but yeah. they're really hard to get to. So if we can find this little helicopter there to see, is there an easy way to get a rover or can it start to do stuff on its own? That could be really great. And, and and this was just their first attempt yep. at it as well. Yep. And that's <laughs> such an amazing thing that they got it this good the very first try. Yep. Imagine what they can do 20 years from now. Right, <clears throat> right. They might can have one where they can actually fly it themselves. That would mm-hmm. be cool. And, and the pictures that it sends back to is just, oh, mm-hmm. it's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> um, and, but, I mean, like, that is, like, almost like my very first thought whenever I seen that they were flying, well, a helicopter was flying itself on Mars. It's just like, I mean, we're aliens now. Right. Like, we're flying <laughs> on another planet. Mm-hmm. That's some alien-type stuff right there. <laughs> but it is it is so amazing. I wonder what happened to the Mars One mission that they were going to do. Do you remember a lot do, of missions. Oh, do you, do you remember like when they like were taking people from the public? Like you could sign up for it mm-hmm. a few years ago. Do you remember that? I know there was stuff that you could put your name. Yeah. On. I don't know if I yeah. knew about this this people one. Yeah, that they had like this thing where just random people could sign up to mm-hmm. make a trip to Mars, and they had like three hundred thousand people sign sure. up for or something sure. like that, and they somehow narrowed it down to like three or four people. But I don't know whatever happened to that. So for some reason it fell through because it was supposed to take place in 2020. And uh, <laughs> that would have been the best year to take off from this planet, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to that. It's, but, I mean, sooner or later, we're going to – somebody out there will be brave enough to travel to Mars. Oh, sure. It, we it, – it's definitely going to happen. I mean, I guess I, you can never say anything's 100%, but – in our lifetime, people are going to go to Mars. Yeah. But we, you know, there's other steps that have to be taken before that's possible. Um, so can't say yeah. like when an actual date will be. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, probably that that was probably the issue. Was just they were trying to rush it. Yes. Back then. Right. Because I don't know if we have them type of capabilities right now. People just don't understand like everything that goes on behind the scenes. That's why I think that planetariums are so important Mm -hmm. is you can go there and talk to smart people like (laughs) you and watch these, the the little films that you show. It really puts into perspective just how much goes into one flat in space. Yep. Ain't Mm -hmm. it like, it's going to take like three months to get to? Six months Mm -hmm. to get to Mars. Mm -hmm. That's when we're at our closest to each other, Earth and Mars. And then you have to wait a whole year for the two planets to go around the sun and get up close again and then take a six-month trip home. So you'll be in space for at least two years. Wow. And so whenever people ask me, I think, I, you know, I have them think, okay, think about everything you need for one day. All the stuff that you do, all the stuff you need, water, bathroom, food, shower, all that stuff. And now multiply that by two years. And all of that has to fit on a spaceship. To get you there and back. Wow. And that's part of the reason why we haven't done it yet. Um, and the longest stint, I think, in a, an astronaut, like a straight, has been in space, I think has only been about a year. 
maybe not even that long, but we're, you know, we're still trying to study the effects of not being pulled by gravity. Yeah. But, on a body. <laughs> but because isn't, uh, I, I was talking with Steve last time he was up here and he mm-hmm. was telling me about how uh, astronauts, like their organs will be mismatched around inside sure. their body because of the zero gravity. Yeah. And you there. get stretched out a little bit. You're actually a little <clears throat> taller in space. Um, your muscles can atrophy, and that's why they do those exercises all the time. But, yeah, your body gets very conf- confused, and then you go right back to, to Earth again, and, and the astronauts actually, it's a long process to get them, you know, back to just walking around. Yeah. But we don't know what two years will be like. 